back to my channel, it's Sam. As you guys can see by the channel down there, we're gonna be doing a very wearable look, as you guys can see, using the Jaclyn Hill palette. If you guys haven't seen, I kind of like did a very colorful look and I'll link it up here and down in the description box. And I did a very like natural look for today. Um, and if you want to hear my overall thoughts on the more colorful eyeshadows, it's going to be in that video. And I kind of share my thoughts on the kind of like the more neutral shades um, that I used today. If you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. So I went and drew a more wearable look with the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 palette. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. I did kind of like a very um, colorful makeup look with the palette because obviously I wanted to see kind of like these super bright colors that how they were gonna like perform. So for today, I wanted to focus more on these up here because these look stunning and I wanted to give it a try. As you guys can see, I have my full face of makeup. Uh, I am doing a first impression. So if that video is already up, I'll link it up here and on the description box. I'm gonna start off with the shade Perfectionist, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna place that all over my crease. And I'm using a really fluffy brush. This is a uh, Morphe M505. I forgot to zoom you guys in. So, um, okay. As you guys can see right here, like the color, it's not staying there. And I'm not sure why is that. I prepped my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer and then I set it with a Jeffree Star like vanilla shade um, eyeshadow and then this one it's performing just fine but I don't know if you guys can tell like this one has like right here it's like really patchy um so now I'm gonna actually go in with the color I'm actually gonna go in with G Money which is this one right here and I'm gonna stay with the same brush and I'm just going to take this and put that on top. And I'm using very light pressure with circular motions just to blend that. And I'm bringing it a little bit up to my brow bone. I can see it a little bit patchy right here and I'm not sure like why that is happening on this eye but not on this one. So I'm going to take a Morphe E25 now and I think I want to go in, I think I'm going to go in with Love Handles which is this one and as you guys can see the majority of the neutrals that she put in this palette they have a little bit more of a peachy kind of like uh, undertone to them and I'm going to place this just to blend these edges. I'm going to use that shade and I'm just grabbing a little bit of product. But first I'm going to go in with Get Ready With Me and then I'm going to put on top red or dye to bring a little bit of light on the eye so i'm just gonna take it with my finger and place that on my lid which wow that's so pretty If you want, you can grab a shader brush and spray a little bit of Fix Plus or the Morphe, just any setting spray, and it's going to bring more, um, kind of, what's it called? It's going to be more pigmented. I'm actually going to take my Milani Rose Water, and I'm going to spray my brush, and then I'm going to grab... I'm just packing and do you guys see that like it brings I don't know like it brings the glitter 
and the whole like it like transforms the eyeshadow in my other eye and I'm kind of like tapping the eyeshadow on my lid I'm not like brushing it I do want to deepen my crease a little bit so I'm gonna take the shade homebody right here which is more of a like terracotta shade and I'm just gonna apply that a little bit on my crease right here I'm gonna grab the um, red or dye diamonds this one right here and with that one I am because I felt like it was a little thicker right here so I'm just gonna put that on top and just to bring a little bit of light and I'm just gonna work on my lower lash line I'm gonna start off by getting um, comfort zone right here and then I'm gonna go in with G money down here and that's all I think I'm gonna do so I finished my eyes I really like how it came out it's very simple um, I really like the shades that I use it's just that that ride or die color right here um, I thought it was going to have a little bit more of a payoff and it was more glittery than anything. Uh, I don't have, well the actual palette doesn't have a like inner corner highlight except for this one. But this one is very iridescent and has like a pink purpley shade to it. So I'm going to skip that there. And for highlight, I think I'm just going to grab the highlight that I used on my skin. And it is the... Um, um, MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish Whisper of Guilt and I'm just going to take that and use this as my inner corner highlight and I'm going to put a little bit on my brow bone I hardly ever do this but I don't know I thought it would look cute well, I'm going to put on some mascara lashes uh, and I'll be right back I just put on my lashes, put in a little bit of lipstick, and I really like how this looks. It's just a very natural, very bronzy look. If you did like this video, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there, as well as giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you have any more tutorials that you would like me to create, then please comment down below. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!